Hi everyone, welcome to Yolanda's Cakes. Today I will be making a chocolate cake covered with ganache and decorated with a poinsettia. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients to make this delicious cake. Two cups sugar, one third cups flour, three quarter cups cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoon baking powder, and one and a half teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, two eggs, one cup of milk, half cup vegetable oil, two teaspoons vanilla extract, and one cup of boiling water. Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Grease and flour two round baking pans, nine by two. I'm going to be using two seven by two so that my cake will be tall. Combine dry ingredients. Then add eggs, milk, oil, and vanilla. Mix at medium speed for two minutes. Add the boiling water. Mix again. Pour butter into pans and bake from 30 to 35 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Here are my cakes. Now I'm going to level and torch the cakes. I will end up with four layers of the same thickness. Using a separated knife, I'm going to remove the crown from both cakes, holding the knife sturdy while turning the cake and pushing the cake against the knife. Remove excess. To tort the cakes into equal layers, take a ruler and measure the height of the cake. Mark the middle with a toothpick. With a separated knife, cut through as you did before. You will notice how all the layers will be of the same height. To make the chocolate ganache, I'm using one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips and one cup of heavy cream. Place the chocolate chips in a heat-resistant container. Boil milk. 
Pour boiled milk over chocolate chips and cover. Let it rest for five minutes. Stir until all ingredients are mixed and the chocolate starts mixing with the milk. Let the mixture rest until it thickens. Fill in between cake layers, then cover cake with ganache. Pour the ganache on top of the cake and let it slide down on the sides of the cake. Smooth out the frosting. Let your cake chill before decorating it. Prepare white chocolate ganache the same way you prepared the dark chocolate ganache. Here's my cake covered with ganache, ready to be decorated. Fill a decorating bag with the white ganache. Drip the chocolate over the edge of the cake, then the top, and spread. I've made this poinsettia a few days ago. Since the wires and the florist tape cannot touch the cake, I inserted it into a flower spike. This is a very critical step you cannot skip. Push the flower spike through the cake, being careful since the flower is very fragile. And that's it. To make the berries, I used a tiny piece of fondant and rolled it into a ball. Then with the fondant tool, make the center and voila! Well, this has been all for today. Thanks for watching. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you.